followed it for a long time, don't feel cold breeze, they don't feel any catches. Some people feel burning all the time, some people feel the things in their head, in their body, toes, hands. Is there a way we're going to develop where we can feel things, all of us, all over, or is it just some people feel different things? No, no, you see, to begin with, you see, it has something to do with your nervous system, all right? So if your nervous system is disturbed, you may not feel at all. But the nervous system, best thing is to do massage. You see, somebody should massage their back, hands. Also, I have told many a times that you rub your hands with vibrated olive oil quite a lot and rub these things so they become sensitive. Could be with insensitivity. But if they can feel uh, the catches in the, in the body, that means they are all right. Only the Vishuddhi is not all right. Rub the thing on the Vishuddhi, work on Vishuddhi, clear it out. And for Vishuddhi, if you can use, say, um, butter to rub on the here and rub all these muscles, you see, with that, all these things will work out for your hand. But supposing you are, there is no cool breeze coming out of the head, possibly, then the realization is not yet established. See, other people should say whether there is a cool breeze coming, because the person who is not realized may not feel it. Supposing he does not feel it and you feel it, then he is realized, only thing his chakras are to be cleared up. It's a different, different category of people. Then there are some people whose Kundalini has not risen, they are still surgery like that. Maybe. I don't know if there are any. But those people who are unmarried for long, they are very difficult because they never feel the cool breeze in the hand, quite a lot like that. But it is not so. They are realized souls. In any case, they may not feel it, but they are realized souls, you see. Because a kind of a softness, a kind of a balance is developed after marriage, which is not there. And that's how some people don't feel it. There are various reasons. Some people who are ego-oriented more, they should turn their left to the right many a times. They should find out from the hands, you see. One hand is bigger, one hand is smaller. That means the left hand, if it is smaller, that means you have to raise left to the right. You see, from the size of the hands and all that you can see. Putting one hand towards the photograph, another hand outside, work it out in so many ways, because you have permutations and combinations of certain mystics. But that doesn't mean you develop this left Vishuddhi by any chance, because that's the worst thing that can happen. If you develop the left Vishuddhi, then it's a very difficult situation for you. Now, uh, for this kind of a thing, I think I'll give you a complete lecture on one day, complete, as to see what permutations and combinations of different chakras can create, all right? But symptoms are outside. The symptoms are mostly outside. There's no need to, from a personality, you can see what it is he's catching. It's a very problem, a great problem with people that they don't feel the vibration. Some people just don't feel. How many there are like that who never feel any vibrations? Never felt. No. Raise your hand. I know Kenny. Not never. And you, you never, you have felt it sometimes. All right. But then, since I came to the ashram, I think my hands have been very hot all the time. Which but one? I feel the catches inside. Both the hands are. What work you are doing in the ashram? Not very much, I know. All right. You had a left side catch, all right? You can see it clearly. Your right hand is very shining. The left, there is a problem. You see, these, these fingers are not so shining as the things are. You had a left side problem if you remember it, all right? So that's fighting. In the ashram the vibrations are fighting, that's why I feel hot, there's something wrong with it. It will correct it, you will have cool breeze. Put your right hand always up and left hand towards you, it will correct. So whether it is for the seeking or for anything else in the world, the first thing is that you must take an attitude of a relaxed witness. If you can do that, 
then those who are not feeling vibrations will definitely feel. <coughs> I've seen people on whom I've been working, it wouldn't work out. Of course, they were not rude or anything arrogant, but felt very sad that they couldn't get the vibration. So I said, all right, today you go and enjoy the flowers in the garden, enjoy the birds and talk to the sky and come back to me. It works out. Because you have been always like this. In Sahaja Yoga, you don't have to achieve anything, you become. Prepare yourself for that awakening by not preparing yourself. Be unprepared. Be simple. Just be simple. Be childlike. Just that. Which is such a difficult thing to be simple. No elaborations are needed. Nothing is needed. No preparations as such, except open your heart. Now how will you open like that? Pay attention to your heart. Just pay attention to your heart. You'll be amazed if you start meditating. Just fight your heart. The thawing starts as soon as you pay attention. Tensions will drop off and you will feel good peace. So those who saw yogis, you come to saw yoga. I didn't feel vibrations should know that the fear that they have. Everybody thinks that there's a show on, like a dog show, like other shows, you see. <laughs> and they come with that idea. There's no show on. It's a thing that you have to achieve yourself, which you achieve that stage automatically. Now this is about the surgeries who feel that they do not feel any vibrations. Maybe sometimes it happens also in some places where the Vishuddhi chakra is very bad, you don't feel any cool peace. So it doesn't matter. As long as you feel peaceful, enjoy them. Why worry about the vibrations? I don't understand. What's the need? If it is not there, well and good. As long as you feel the peace of your spirit, you just put your hands to another person. Especially if you have been to some other gurus and some other meditation centers and all that, where you have been jumping morning till evening, you see? You don't want to believe that Sahaja Yoga you get only by sitting quiet. Now there are ways and methods for improving your vibration. As you know, in Sahaja Yoga they are all described. <coughs> for people who suffer from ego, I think best thing is to put your hands into the eyes, right hand, maybe. It may work. Try it. But don't prepare. Just push your hand into eyes sometimes. It may work. And for people who suffer from super ego, little bit burning your hand on the candle may help. Just talk, because the hands are not sensitive. So there is a heat 
or a pool too much. Either you are a frozen personality or you are a heated personality. You are not in the center. So if you are a frozen personality, better melt it a little bit. Try. I never said this before because half of you would have run away if I had said this. But don't burn it to have blisters, I am saying. Just a little bit, try to see that if you burn your finger, the sensitive tingling. But someone is thinking just now that if you have both the problems, what do you do? <laughs> there are permutations and combinations <laughs> because if you get out of your ego, you have a big superego that comes up and if you get after your superego, the ego comes. There then the attention has to be brought here. And Sahaja Yogis know what it is here to pick attention here. If you can keep your attention here, then you are above this. And if something drops out, it drops out forever because you are standing here. Say if I have a shawl and somehow I can jump onto that gallery and this shawl falls off, then I never have it, isn't it? Because I'm there and the shawl is down. So the ascent must take place. If you do not ascend, how do you ascend? Is through your attention. Where is your attention? Ask yourself, where is my attention?